with two homicide investigations underway in just the past 24 hours. We're talking about gun violence in Tacoma's east side neighborhood. First on Sunday morning, then again earlier today. Thank you so much for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Matthew Smith and I'm Jamie Tompkins. The latest shooting left a 48 year old man dead. Fox 13's Steve Kiggins is in Pierce County with more tonight. Neighbors complain that crime is spiraling. They're also concerned that there's fellow neighbors who might fall into a life of crime. They're not able to access those services to avoid that. Not to mention some other neighbors they are complaining. They don't see enough cops on the street. It's not a surprise what's going on because we don't have the police over around us. They're never seen. Elaine Stewart walks past discarded crime scene tape along East Portland Avenue. It was only minutes past midnight Monday morning when South Sound 911 took a call reporting a shooting near East 44th Street. Tacoma PD found a 48 year old man shot to death in the strip mall's parking lot. Barely 50 feet away, flowers and a cross bearing the name of another community member taken too soon. That was for a friend of all uh, last week. And so they're, they're passing away, dropping every week around here. The first shooting this weekend happened near sunrise Sunday morning on East House Street. Police responded and found a 22 year old woman shot to death. Her boyfriend, who called 911, was also injured in the shooting, but he survived. Sunday's shooting happened just before 5 a.m. on Howe Street. Less than 24 hours later, and barely a mile away, is where police found the 48 year old man along Portland Avenue. Neighbors are left reeling from the violence. Do you feel safe? No, I'm not safe at all, but I thank God I have God in my life. The state of our city is unacceptable. Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodard's describing double digit increases for some property crimes during her State of the City address last week. Violent crime is also on the rise. Some worry desperation is gripping more of their neighbors, pushing an increase of crime. When you go from thriving to living to surviving, that concerns me. I, I believe 80% of that generation only know what it looks like to survive. Tacoma Cease Fire organizer Candace Wesley hopes the mayor and new police chief include her community's engagement as they formulate a plan to tackle crime and that those community members will also be a part of the response when neighbors call 911 for help. Tacoma is the city of destiny. We're not going to stop. Change is of the essence and I believe our city has the ability to turn things around. Now, the city is in the midst of an effort to recruit officers to help fill those empty positions at Tacoma Police. But a member of the East Side Neighborhood Council worries that COVID restrictions have played a part and actually have gotten in the way that they've allowed suspected nonviolent criminal offenders to avoid jail time. Safety Committee Chair Tara Scheid told us her neighborhood is being terrorized by criminals. In a statement, she says in part that prosecutors must resume filing charges for crimes that until recently were just let go. And to come to Steve Kagan's Fox 13 News.